Hello, Advanced Brown and Apprentice class. This is Sensei John. This is your video for the week of February 1st. We're going to do something a little different today, and we are going to go through our 15 upper body basics, guys. We're going to do our upper body basics. We'll get to a little sigh later. All right, we're not going to do any empty hand kata today. You can go back and watch the old videos for those or the kata specific videos. There's all kinds of places where you can look for kata help. We've been doing the katas for a while now. So you can practice those on your own, all right? But we are gonna do our 15 upper body basics today, all right? So all hand techniques, we're gonna be circle stepping as well, all right? We're gonna do uh, six of each one, six of each one, the first two for form, and then we'll do them full power with key eyes, all right? The first few are very basic that you knew. No, some of the later ones are gonna get Kind of, uh, kind of funky, all right? You might not have seen some of these moves before. So here we go, we're gonna get bowed in, ready, focus. Respect, what do you say? I will be happy to teach you today, all right? We were gonna skip our student creeds today and we are gonna get right into these upper body basics. All right, so you start, hand on your belt, all right? Feet even, fold your hands over, all right? And well, actually we're gonna start with our hands just right on our belts, all right? Circle step your right foot forward and just punch. It's a front punch, very simple. So simple, I almost screwed it up. Circle step forward, punch. Here we go with the key eye. Three, us, four, us. Too close to the camera. Five, us, and six, us. There you go, punch right in your face. And bag it up. Now we're gonna do the same thing with an uppercut, guys. So right foot forward, uppercut. Circle step, uppercut. Make sure you snap it out and bring your elbow back down. Ready, with the key eye. Three, us. Four, us. Five, us. Six, us. Very good. And of course, the beauty of these videos, as always, guys, is if you're having trouble, or I went a little too fast, Rewind it and watch it and do it again, all right? Now, the next two are the same thing, but it's gonna be reverse punch and reverse uppercut instead of same side, all right? So, now, circle step your left foot forward and reverse punch. Circle step, reverse punch. Aiming right in the solar plexus, guys. See my hands right in the middle. Top two knuckles there, all right? Thumb on top, ready with a key eye. Three, hoops, four, Hoops, five, hoops, six, hoops, and back it up. All right, same thing with uppercuts now. Circle step your left foot forward, reverse uppercut. Again, circle step, uppercut. With key eyes, three, hoops, four, hoops, five, hoops, six, hoops. See how those uppercuts snap up right to my nose, chin, and then I bring it back down, all right, and protect myself with my elbow here. We don't want to leave it out because now this is open. So always with the uppercuts, we snap them out. I'm going to do it sideways so you can see out and in. We call it an uppercut, but it's really not up. It's out here. My opponent's chin is right there. Boom. And back. All right. That's our uppercuts. All right, now we're gonna start going backwards. So now I'll start closer to you guys, all right? You're gonna circle step your right foot back, all right, right foot back, and it's just down block, punch. Then fold your hands, circle step back, down block, punch. With key eyes, ready, go. Hoops, four, hoops, five, hoops. And six. Hiss. Good. Bring it back up. Same thing with side block punch. Side block punch. All right. So, circle step your right foot back. Side block punch. Aiming for the middle again. Circle back. Side block punch. Key eyes on the punch. Go. Hiss. Go. Hiss. Go. Hiss, and go, hiss. 
Let's talk about that side block for a minute, guys. Right here, all right? My elbow is bent 90 degrees, but my arm is on a 45 degree angle. Little math today in karate class, all right? So this is too tight. I'm not protecting myself well. This is, this is a punch, this isn't a block, all right? And I don't want it up here, because now I'm open again. Elbow down and in close. Your elbow should be about a fist distance from your body for a good side block. See that? All right, too far, too high, too close. Right here for your side blocks, guys. Good, all right, now we're gonna get to some open moves. Your right foot is gonna go back. There we go, right foot back. Open hand side block. Same thing, same distance. Spear hand, guys, aiming in the middle, all right? Fingers together, spear hand, or nukite strike is the Japanese word. Fold the hands, circle back, open block, spear hand. All right, now we're getting into the move we don't do very often. With a key eye on the spear hand. Ready, three, hoose, four, hoose, five, hoose, six, hoose. All right. Nukite strike. Just like that. It's just like our palm strike, but just straight ahead. I'm sure you've all done a few spear hands here and there. All right. So that is number seven, guys. So we're halfway through at this point. All right. Now we're going to do your right foot back. Sorry, I'm mirroring you guys, so I have to think about it for a minute. Open hand head block and then your uppercut. Fold the hands, circle step back, right hand head block, uppercut, all right? And when you do that head block, when you're coming back, close your hand up like you're grabbing their arm and pulling their hand down to your belt, all right? Here we go with the key eye on the uppercut. Three, hoose, four, hoose, five, hoose, Six, hoose. Same snap on that uppercut, guys. Good. All right. Now we're going to do a regular old head block punch right in the middle. Getting back to the, the basic basics. All right. So same thing, guys. Right foot goes back first. Head block punch. You've done this one before. Circle step back. Head block, punch. With a key eye on the punch, go. Hoose! 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 I don't know if that was five or six. That was good enough. All right, let's talk head block for a minute, guys. Muscle out. I still see lots of people in class that try and do their head block like this or like this. Our head block is like this with the muscle out over your head. All right, and muscle out. By your level, by advanced brown belt, apprentice belt, you guys should know what a good head block looks like. It should be just automatic at this point, all right? Muscle out. All right, now we're gonna get a little fancy. Although you guys have done this one before, this is out of Seisan Kata, all right? We are going to do right foot back again, all right? Head block wrap around, nose bop, and then a punch. So we got a lot of moves going here. All right, circle step back, head block, nose bop, like in Seisan, and then a punch. All right, key eye on the punch, ready, go. Nose bop, hoose! Circle step back, head block, nose bop, hoose! I think this is five, head block, Nose bop, snapping it, boom, snapping it right down on top of the bridge of the nose. Us! Last one, head block. Hiss! All right, head block, nose bop, punch. Good. All right, now, these are something you haven't done before. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to forward again. All right, left foot forward down block, and then five punches. 
Fold your hands, circle step, down block. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and I am way too close to the camera. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And on these, you actually key eye on the block because you're not going to key eye on those five punches. So, this. Good, again, down block. Forgot my key eye. Yes. One more time. Down block. And see those punches right in the middle. As always, I'll back up a little more this time. And now we're going to do the same thing, just side block five punches. All right, fast punches. Make sure they're right in the middle. Here we go. So left foot forward. Us. Yes. Three, four, hoos, five, six. All right, and that is number 12, guys. We've got three left. All right, now we're gonna get fancy. So, circle step your left foot forward, chop block down, chop to the neck. All right. And then these, you don't have to re-chamber. I bring my hand up, chop down, hoos. All right, circle step forward, chop block, hoos. Four, hoos. Five, hoos. Six, hoos. Nice chop right for you there, all right? Good. Shoot toe strike, guys. With the edge of your hand here, these are called the shoot toe strike. Learning some good Japanese words here today, too. All right? Shoot toe block, shoot toe strike. Good. All right, now, this is the weirdest one out of all of them, guys. We almost never do this one. So, here we go. Circle step left foot forward. You're going to do a push block across, and then you're going to do two punches to the body, like that. You kind of whip your hands around. It takes a little while to get the hang of that. Circle step forward, push block across. See how I start my hand way back here, guys? Like that, and kind of whip them in there. All right? Circle step forward. Hiss! Circle step forward, push. Good. Right to solar plexus, rib level. Back up, couple more. Push. One more. There you go, that one, it's a real whipping motion, guys. You're using your hips, all right? That one takes a little bit of practice. I remember the first time I did that one, what a mess, all right? If you had trouble today, don't worry about it. Last one, you guys have done this one, this one's easy. It's the end of Saiyan Chin Kata, all right? We're gonna do our right foot back cat stance with our arms crossed, hips up, head block elbow, the end of Saiyan Chin Kata, all right? Then we just switch sides, hips up, elbow nice and high, head block. And switch, hoops, again, hoops, five, hoops, six, hoops. All right, and there we go, guys. Those are our 15 upper body basics. You might not have even known we had 15 upper body basics, but there you go. Back in the day, you had to know those. You had to have them all memorized in order to even get your green belt. All right. We've gotten away from those a little bit in recent years. All right. But it's very traditional Ishinru karate. And especially at your level, guys, apprentice black belt, black belt, you should be familiar with those. I don't expect you to know them in order. I can't even remember them all in order without my book here. All right. But... You should be familiar with them. Most of them are basic moves that you guys have done a million times before, but some of them are fancy. All right, so go get your Sai, guys. We have been working Kusan Kusai, and we're gonna do a little bit of that today, but I'm gonna focus on Sai basics again. Make sure you've got all your good Sai moves down for the first week of February here. And we'll do a little bit at the beginning, but working on some detail work. So we're not going to go through all of Kusan Kusai today. Again, there are videos up of Kusan Kusai that you can go watch, all right? 
I believe I did all of Kusan Kusai last week, guys, so go back and watch the old videos. If you want to practice your whole kata, and you should practice the whole kata if you know it, but today we're going to focus on some basics, all right, and some specific moves. So here we go. First, let's start with our side block, guys. All right, again, same thing. Fist distance from your elbow to your body should be in tight, not out here. Not a good side block, all right? Sigh is along the side of your arm. See that? So I'm protected. And the way I do that is by bending my wrist. See if my wrist isn't bent? I've got this. The more I bend my wrist, I like it. See, the back of my sigh is actually touching my bicep or my tricep there. That's the way I want it to look, all right? That's a good side block, all right? Do it on both sides. One hand is probably gonna like it better than the other. But it's all about this gooseneck position with your wrist, all right? This is not a good side block. Even this is not quite good enough. Bend that wrist more and get it here. I'm protecting just about my whole arm here, all right? Good, all right? And there's a number of side blocks in this kata, all right? And the next side kata that some of you guys may be getting ready to move up to solid black belt will be learning soon, all right? Head block, all right? Good side should be on the top, over your head. Make sure the long part here is over your head, not this part, because if this part's over my head and it gets pushed down, that's really gonna hurt. So you really gotta kinda hug your arm right to your head, all right? I see a lot of this in class. I'm hitting my arm right there, not the side. Gotta flip it up, all right? It's the basically, it's the head block we tell you not to do, empty hand, is the position your arm needs to be in to get a good side head block, all right? And there's a lot of those in Kusan Kusai. All right, we do some head blocks, so make sure. All right, right at the beginning. We're gonna do that in just a second, all right? So make sure you've got that side on the top of your head, all right? And of course, your punches, guys, your basic punches. All right, you can extend your index finger along the handle of the sigh, and you wanna keep the sigh right up against your arm, nice and tight. We don't want it coming off. I don't want it here sticking out. I don't want it to come loose here. I don't want it to slip out there. Boom, aiming right in the middle, just like our regular punches, and it stays right up against my arm the whole time, protecting me. All right, it's all about squeezing that pinky finger. Squeeze it in there, and that's what keeps the sigh tight to your arm. All right, good. So just a little bit on the beginning of Kusan Kusai here, guys. I'm gonna back up a bit so you can see all of me, hopefully. All right, we're gonna go right from here. Kata, Kusan Kusai, guard to the left first. So I'm gonna back up a little more. I lowered my computer too much. All right, notice how my sigh are parallel to each other, guys. They should be on the same angle. I see a lot of this. This is not the same angle, all right? Boom, they are exactly parallel to each other. That's where you want it. Switch sides, nice long stance here. I see a lot of this in class. This is not a good long stance. Long stance, all right? Sigh parallel. All right, open up and hit, head level, close it up. Here's that head block we talked about. Change the computer a little bit. Make sure you can see my head block. All right, hit, head block, bring the foot up. Hoose! Make sure you get that good long stance when you do this, same thing. Open up and hit, close it up, head block, stomp, punch. Punches right in the center, just like always. Not out here, not over there. Boom, straight ahead. My shoulder is turned towards you. I don't want to be open like this. I'm leaving all this open for my opponent. I turn my body, so all I'm giving them is my arm, really. They don't have much of a target on me. One more hit, one more head block. We turn to the back, cat stance. All right, I'm gonna do it towards you guys so you can see me kick. And land in long stance, open up and hit. When we hit with our side, it's always like this, never like this. Because if I hit like this, 
That's what's gonna happen. When I hit like this, I'm backing it up with my thumb and that's not gonna be a problem. All right, now I'm gonna, they say close the side up. I like to just kind of point it back in the other direction, which is mostly closed. I point this one this way, so I've got one in each direction, and then I turn around, all right? And I'm back to the front where I should be with my guard. Circle step, one passes under the other. The same side as the leg that's circle stepping, passes underneath. Circle step, stab, right in the middle. So stabs are always like this, parallel to the floor. This is hits, this is stabs, all right? Now I leave this one out, I turn around the other way, stab with the other hand, step out long stance, stab, and I think last thing we'll do today, guys, is our Kusan Kumu, wind it up. All right, and here we go. So, front one is like this, perpendicular to the ground, because it's a hit. I see people doing this, no good. What I really see a lot of is this, with your thumb here, all right? I'm going this way, so my thumb has to be here. This is the trick, guys. It's coming this way, so you gotta get your thumb here. All right, none of this. This isn't gonna help me. My sigh is gonna go back that way when I hit something. Here, I'm braced with my thumb. The one behind you, all right, see? You can't even really see my arm. You can just see the tip of the sigh back there over the top of my head, but my arm is behind me. I've got, my chest is stretched out, all right? I'm really stretching here. It's not this, it's this, all right? So that's what those moves, there's like four of these in the kata, guys, so you should get, be able to get the hang of them, all right? I know this is opposite for you guys, but this would be the usual way for me, all right? Again, nothing here. I'm only giving my opponent my arm. You can't see my side behind me, and that's my bad arm, so I can barely get that up over my head back there, all right? But that's the beginning moves of Kusan Kusai. All right, so we're gonna finish up, guys. A little bit different today. I hope you liked it. All right, I didn't wanna just do another of the same video going through the same things. So those upper body basics, always good to practice and a little detail work on your side. We're gonna finish up. Ready, focus, bounce and respect. What do you say to in class? You are welcome, guys. And we are gonna just wrap it up for today. We went a little long. All right, you guys have a good week of practice, and I will see you next time.